All right, this is Ryan Thomas with UNDAthletics.com, joined by UND women's soccer goalkeeper Emma Crenshaw after one nothing win over William Jewell. And uh, you really had a, a pretty easy night at the office, didn't face a whole lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of high pressure shots. Um, what were you seeing from uh, from your defense and from your midfield uh, throughout the game that kind of you know made made your night a pretty easy one? Well, we had really good cover pretty much the whole game. Um, we'd see the ball kind of shift to one side, and we worked all during practice this past week to make sure that we had that cover and not allow any split balls. And I think that all the ladies did really well at you know executing that. So. And so you open up the the home schedule with a win. Um, got another one coming up on Sunday. Um, Three and two on the year. I didn't pick up the third one of the year until late in the season last year. Just uh, how much how much different has it been uh, with this team as opposed to you know ones uh, ones in the past? Uh, it's been a lot different actually. Uh, the new coming freshmen made a huge difference, and it made things more competitive within our team, which is a good thing. So people are looking to get that starting position, and they're working better and harder just to to keep it going. So I see a huge difference from last year, and I see a team that wants to win really bad this year. So that's good to see. All right, thanks, Emma. Thank you. Now joined by the head coach of the Greyhound women's soccer team, Holly Cox. Um, one nothing win to open up the home schedule. Uh, you, you really kind of put the clamps down on William Jewell there for uh, for long stretches in the game. Um, you know how impressed were you with the uh, the ability of uh, of your defense to really limit the quality chances? Oh, it was a good game tonight. I mean, we had to battle a rain delay and make sure the ladies were ready to play. But like you said, I mean, our back line did a really really good job today. Um, really limiting the opportunities that William Jewell had um, in front of our goal. I mean, that comes right from the back from Emma with her communication, making sure we're organized. And then our, um, obviously, Hannah Mangus and, and Amber Perry back there, two solid um, center backs. But another one, I mean, Hope, Hope Horsman playing that holding role for me. She did an awesome job tonight. So you, you then you, you know, we've, Talked a little bit with Emma, you know, about what the defense did, but uh, you know, the offense really turned it up in the first half. Uh, you were out shooting them ten two at halftime. You got the one, got the one late with uh, Rebecca getting her her second goal of the year. Um, you know, what did uh, what did you really like about uh, your guys' attack there in the first half and even you know into the second? I mean, if you're if you're shooting on on their goal, you're hopefully eventually going to score. And I mean, our, our game plan is to try and keep it down there and as, as much as possible. Um, I thought the connectivity between the three forwards was pretty good tonight. Definitely room for improvement, making sure we're on the same page of the ball and the same run. Um, but I mean, Becca's finish to be able to dink it over the goalkeeper was a great little finish. Um, if we can keep being dangerous up top, cr movement off the ball, uh, dynamic runs in behind, but also uh, dynamic when we get the ball to feet. Uh, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like the season. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, congratulations on the win tonight, and uh, we're looking forward to Sunday. Thank you, Ryan. All right. This has been Ryan Thomas with UNDAthletics.com. Thanks for watching.